Hey, this is Michael from Studio One Expert. In this video, I'll show you a really easy technique to add ambience, depth, and emotion to a track. In the example, I have an intro, which is the main synth part of the song. I felt the intro needed something more than just the synth out there all by itself. Let's play the song from the top. Reverse audio with effects can create some interesting results. Let's try this with the intro. So if we copy the synth track, and only keep the intro section, and right click on the copy and select reverse audio. The waveform is reversed and the audio is now playing in reverse. If we solo it, it now sounds like this. And played with the intro that is not reversed, it sounds like this. Not the effect we're going for yet, but if we roll off some bottom with the Pro EQ, at about 435 hertz and roll off some top around 9 or 10k, it now sounds like this soloed. For the effect I'm going for, I want to add a reverb. Phoenix Verb is a fantastic reverb and will work great for this. I used a large hall preset at 100% wet. Now our duplicate track sounds like this soloed. Let's turn this track down a few dB and listen to what it adds to the intro of the song when it's played along with the intro synth part. I'm going to play the intro a few times, turning the reverse track on and off. I think this helps the intro of the song, makes it a little more interesting. Reverse audio and effects are a great way to create some interesting sounds. You could even take this a step further by bouncing a stem of the reverse track so the reverb is now recorded audio and reverse that audio track, which would then be reversed reverb. This is a great way to create a really eerie sound for vocals, hearing the reverb tail swell into the vocal instead of away from the vocal. You could use modulation effects, delays, endless possibilities. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Now go make some great music.